people may be very concerned about what to do in the workplace environment to minimize the risk um, of uh, coronavirus infection to, to their, their workforce. And there is a lot of guidance out there on the internet. There are also some slides on the NICD website that are particularly targeting what employers can do in the workplace. The basic principles are that this virus is spread through contact, which is on our hands and touching people, and through droplets, which are the droplets that we release from our nose and mouth when we speak and when we cough and, and sneeze, and these droplets can travel for one meter. So you, there are important structural changes that you can implement. For example, if somebody is needing to have frequent uh, personal interaction with other people, make sure that they stay at least one meter away from that person because this is the distance that the droplets can spread. Discourage shaking hands because there's no need to have a physical interaction with a person. You can really just uh, talk to them. And then make hand washing facilities widely available in the workplace. So if possible, have hand wash stations or have alcohol based hand rub available so that everybody in your work environment can, can be washing their hands easily. Again, sometimes this may not be easy. Um, you, the, possibly the only basin is in the toilet, I think, or, or in another area. But you, you then need to really encourage people to change their way of doing things and, and use the available facilities uh, frequently. Because hand washing is really the mainstay of how we stop the virus getting from the environment on our hands up to our nose and mouth that it can get into the body. And then really it's important to clean the work workplace uh, frequently with, with soap and water. We know the virus can survive for a period of time in the environment, but normal cleaning with soap and water will, will kill the virus. So, so make sure you have strengthened um, cleaning routines uh, in the workplace. If you develop symptoms of respiratory illness, including a cough, fever, and shortness of breath, you must seek medical care early. It's important to call your doctor first, self-isolate and advise on your travel and contact history. If you would like to know more on anything relating to COVID-19, call the general public hotline at the National Institute of Communicable Diseases on 0800 029 as well as 0800 132 or log on to www.nicd.ac.za.